Hey everybody, calling the Air Force. It's time to get serious, guys. We have to pivot or this baby's gonna go into the ground nose first. What the hell am I talking about? Stay tuned while I get my coffee. But for today, take that old record from the shelf. Ooh, <laughs> my things here. Get my coffee. Give me a little bit of that morning entertainment, the White Sox Shuffle here. Yes, I'm feeling, feeling quite a bit better. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's nothing like that morning cup of coffee, that first one. For over eight years, almost every single morning, having the morning shoots and enjoying that cup of coffee no matter where I am. So, I, it is time to pivot, guys. And by pivot, I mean, we've got to grab this operation here by the short ones and um, get cracking on getting this place cleaned up and organized. Because if it gets much worse here, then I'm seriously going to start to get depressed about uh, upkeep and taking care of this place. And I might just check myself into that nice retirement home. Enjoy much. I'm not quite ready for that yet. I'm also not quite ready to return to work. I have a doctor appointment on Friday and I will get checked out and I think probably cleared at that point in time to be uh, rehired, uh, physically rehired, do what I need to do. I'm kind of on a temporary suspension status here. Now, Every direction I look, yes, recovery first, and I have been continuing on the keto diet, and I have not made the rapid progress that I want to make. Yes, I'm happy, but that's not the point of today. That's for another thing. I'm very happy about that. I like the way I'm looking now. Now, but the point of this is that uh, it's, it just gets uh, overwhelming for a while. I mean, every place I look, it's just crap and things to be, to be done. So let's take a quick look around, give us a few pictures. I'm not a pack rat, I'm not a hoarder, I'm not a person with hoarder tendencies, but I have reached the age, maybe I'm inspired by the boss and Janet, where everything has its place and I've got to develop a methodology to put stuff away when I get stuff out and I use things. This injury set me back a lot, but now I've got a plan. Let's talk about it. The plan. We have seven to 10 days. Well, as far as the 10 day forecast goes, it looks like really good weather. Sunny, it's gonna be in the low to mid 60s. Ah, nights and nights will be chilly, but it's gonna be nice. And we're gonna make hay while the sun shines here and take advantage of that. We need things to dry out a little bit. We had quite a lot of rain and quite a lot of uh, cold and dampness over the last couple of days. So we need to divide between inside and outside activities. That's number one. So we're going to wait a couple of days to do outside stuff. There's grass to be cut, um, some more tools to be bought. I do need a line trimmer to use. Uh, probably a good uh, battery, a good 12 volt one to use out there for some uh, 
for size trimming. And I really want to get a grip on this, but I'm going to wait till things dry out a little bit. I have things sort of in an order on the inside of them where the transition is the back deck. So I think we'll start inside. We've got the pantry it has to just be gutted and um, fixed up in there and made good. We've got um, front bedroom. You know, everything went to shit when I couldn't bend over. Uh, just, just the pain of this. I could st take stuff out of drawers, but if it hit the ground, there was no way to get that back in the drawer. Uh, so I just let stuff sit. I don't have a grabber. I'm not going to go through all the getting a grabber. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. I'm trying not to collect stuff on here. So, but I'm feeling better. So I think what we're going to do is start with the inside work. And down the end of the hall, I've always kind of had exposed, um, you know, the stuff just sitting in the hallway there, the vacuum and other stuff. Either clean it out and put it away, which I vote for or build an end of hall closet, which may happen if we really get ambitious and get going on this uh, project. I'm looking out here, there's a barbecue grill that the propane um, tubes have to be changed out. I have the tubes. I've had them for a long time with the drip shields. So I've decided that we're just going to hit this inside and if stuff has to be thrown away, it has to be thrown away. If stuff has to be stored, it has to be stored. And today, it's going to begin with the, uh, the keystone to our inside work is the workshop here. We've got to get into the work workshop, get stuff cleaned up, get the floor cleared up, get the top of the workbench cleared off. So that eventually, hopefully this month, we can get on to an electronic project or two, because right now we're just stymied without a uh, workplace. Now, how... Yeah, we're going to do all this work. We're going to do all this work this week. And how the trick will be, how are we going to ensure that it stays in good form? Put another way, we've got to have a little preventative program <laughs> in place too. And I don't know whether that means that I have to go to a psychologist and get hypnotized to make sure you will put everything away when you are done. I don't know. This is where you guys are going to come in as we go down the road on this big, this mountain we have to climb of getting control back on this rancho in one week. So by the time Friday, Saturday rolls around, we're feeling pretty cherry about the way everything looks and is going around here. I can do that stuff. I can do that. But I just fear if I don't stop and get shit squared away soon, I'm going to be taken off of this property. Okay, I just have to throw in the towel, get out of here, get myself into a condo or something like that. A lot of people have said, sell it, Rosie, when this is my home. I took this place from a piece of trash. As you look at the playlist, my five-year journey on the rancho and the work that I had to do in painstaking, tear-jerking work to get this place going. This is my life. You don't tell Ben Cartwright, Ben, it's time to sell the bond, Rosie. No. <laughs> You got it. Am I exaggerating? No. So when we get to part two, which is going to be the maintenance part, and don't let the cat out of the bag yet. Maybe some of you people that have real habits of neatness and things like that will be able to come up with some organizational ideas to keep things on par. Now, I'm not saying a lot of people are saying, Rosie, you could easily snag a queen at the rancho to come there and your problem solve. Look, I don't put my problems on it. When my queen slash princess slash empress slash dictator of the rancho arrives, she's not coming on board to be the cleaning marm, okay? She's coming on board to, uh, to be a companion and, uh, yeah, to do, to do her thing and all that. But I don't, I don't believe in doing that. Now, does that mean I won't hire an outside gardener? No. I mean, I will if I need to, if I feel like it. Uh, we've got a lot of rain. It's going to be a tough year for growing and for um, weeds and all kinds of crap. But we, winter may be over. I don't know. The rainy season might be done. It's unusual. Sometimes you get all the rain in a month and then it just dries up for the rest of the year. Or sometimes it's just a break in the action and you're going to get pounded again with more and more. And sometimes you don't get any rain at all. 
which was the last few years. So hold your thoughts about organization and ideas you might have to make things better on the Rancho. I have started one little thing. If I use a dish, cup, whatever. When I'm done with it, take it to the sink. Don't just sit it in the sink. Wash it, clean it up, rinse it off good, and put it in the rack to dry. And then put things away periodically. Around. Baby steps, baby steps. It's rosy here, it's rosy, all right? Right, want to be chick, right? Living a life, fraternity house row here. So you're smiling again. <laughs> you're thinking, oh, how I would like to be there snuggling up next to Rosie and getting a cup of coffee this morning, guys. I know. Let's get a, let's get a little bit of a rosy shake. It's going to be a demanding week. It's going to be a fun week. We're going to stay on point. Today it starts with the uh, workshop. Be there as far as Janet and the bosses. A uh, little overnight holiday, frou-frou, spa adventure, it's over. I'm at 80% now, and I'm moving forward, okay? And at the 80% level, I can tackle this garage today. Finish that garage. So we got some work to do out there, and then we move on. And then you know what? Tonight, we have our fun. We have our goofing around. Maybe we had our 7-Eleven coffee tonight. And we're out doing a little choo-choo because we need to start taking our exercise up, which is another matter for another video. And that is whipping this body with, with, with the weight reduction into tip-top freaking shape to show people what can be done, what's possible. Lead by example as a sexy old band to show people what's possible. Maybe that means I have to have a personal trainer. Maybe so. We shall see. If nothing else, this is going to be a hell of an interesting next couple of months. Make sure you're here. Hit that sub bell. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell for all notifications. All right. And today, thumbs up or appreciate it. It is 1030 a.m. Hope you enjoyed your last day of sleeping in. We're going to get going in a couple of minutes. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thumbs up or appreciate it.